Hey Justin here from Mystery Tackle Box. We're gonna look at a couple of Booyah baits here today. That's always fun to say, Booyah. It says right there on the package to say it, so I had to do it. So this is the Boo Flex Rig, and then you've got the Boo Rig. So a little bit different presentation in both. The Boo Rig is essentially a mini umbrella rig but it has the blades on the outside. It's got the four blades and then it has one straight arm towards the back, a hinge and then a flexible wire going to a snap swivel where you can put your favorite jig head to put on a swim bait or you can put on a weedless uh, swim bait hook, but really it's designed to swim that single swim bait or jig head with a grub or something like that uh, through open water, over grass, anywhere that there's shad where you would typically throw an umbrella rig this is just a a smaller more compact easier to throw version of that with the flex rig it's a different setup this is essentially a weight and this is a half ounce weight up front with a shad like profile head just like you'd see on a spinner bait and then it goes into a wire flexible arm with a snap swivel on there so it's about half a foot and it's gonna allow you to get whatever bait you want down there to a specific depth. If you're trying to get a swim bait a little bit deeper, if you're trying to get uh, a crankbait a little bit deeper, if you're trying to get uh, anything you're trying to get a little bit deeper, this is gonna be a, a good option to throw on and it's gonna keep your bait um, with a lot of action because it has that wire flex rig, it's not the straight arm. Uh, if for some reason you've got like huge fish or just like toothy critters going on, if you got walleye or if you got pike or something like that, you know, having this wire leader is also going to help. But the main thing is it's like a keel to just keep your bait down there a little bit deeper in the strike zone. Now both of these are coming in at about a half ounce, so you don't need crazy heavy gear to throw it throw it on like you would a big umbrella rig. You could get away with the same gear you would throw a spinner bait on. A seven foot medium heavy power is gonna do just fine. That typical meat and potatoes bait casting uh, rod setup that we usually use for bass. With the flex rig, depending on what you're throwing, you can kind of change up your rod according to that. If you were gonna throw uh, a bigger swim bait on the back of this, you may want to beef up your rod, but if you're just throwing a, a small swim bait on there, you just want to throw it on the same, same rod you would typically throw this on as well. For me on the Boo Rig, I like to throw something exposed if I can in open water. So I'm going to throw about a quarter ounce down to an eighth ounce jig head and put my favorite little swim bait on there. But if I'm fishing this above vegetation or if I'm fishing it around cover, trees, things like that, I'm gonna put a wide gap uh, hook on there or a swim, a keeled swim bait hook, a light, light one, so I can rig that weedless and get the whole rig through the cover. Scenarios when I'm gonna break these rigs out is gonna be anytime I'm really seeing shad around, if I'm seeing shad in the shallows, you know, in the, the spring, in the post spawn, if I'm seeing those shad up there along the bank, especially on a windy day, I'll break this out. If I'm seeing shad balls on the electronics, maybe a little bit deeper, uh, that'd especially be a good situation for the, the boo rig here. And just anytime you've got shad balled up in an area and if you've got surface activity, you see bass boiling, you know there's shad there, this is gonna be a great opportunity to throw these baits. Stained water, clear water, those are great areas to throw them. Muddy water, they probably won't stand out as much, uh, but clear and stained water is going to be perfect. All right, that is going to do it for the Boo Rig and the Boo Flex Rig. Booyah! Hope you catch some bass on that. And if you want to see more tips and tricks on different bass baits and other types of baits, subscribe here to the Mystery Taco Box channel, and we'll see you on the next video.